In this video, we're going to check out the most colorful compressor in Cubase 13, the black valve compressor. It has some really neat tricks up its sleeve. Let's check it out. I have to admit Cubase 13 spoiled us when it comes to plugins. We have two new EQs, two new compressors, a vocal plugin, a vocoder. And in this video, I want to show you the new Black Valve compressor. And the reason why I wanted to make a dedicated video for the Black Valve compressor is because it's a compressor that might confuse a few people on how to use it. It's really not complicated, but you have to know how it works in order to get the best out of it. To my understanding, the Black Valve compressor emulates the LA610 compressor and print and it's designed to be a really colorful compressor. It has a lot of vibe, it can give you a lot of saturation if you want to, it can give you a nice warm valve sound and in order to achieve this there are some things you should know about the way that this plugin works. So let's get started, I have this vocal here, let's play it. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu and this is the sort of vocal that I think the black valve compressor would really shine on. And that's because this smooth female vocal, I could give it so much warmth and I would like to compress it through a valve compressor. Normally I would run a vocal like this through an LA-2A and actually the LA-610 has an LA-2A style compressor on it. So let me show you how black valve works. To begin with, if you want to use just the compressor, you can do it, but you can also add a little bit of preamp warmth to your vocals or anything you use the black valve for. It's great for bass, for example. But let me show you the controls first. The first control is the drive control. Now, this is what might confuse people. This actually drives the preamp gain. So imagine this like driving the gain of your preamp. Let's have a listen. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el caudal. So as you can hear, it adds a lot of beautiful saturation. You can drive it mildly or you can go over the top with it. And this is one of the things that I'm going to give you a little tip here. I think that it really matters how hard you drive this. So if you want to drive this even harder, you can go to your pre-section in your Cubase mixer and you can add a little bit of pre-gain here because I can drive it even harder. Let me show you. So I'm going to go all the way up to 10. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. So the only thing that I did is I've driven the pre-gain by 7 dBs. I'm still not clipping. I'm not even close to clipping, but I'm driving the black valve preamp emulation even harder. So again, let's check it out. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel, soy el agua que mata tu sed, el castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada. So you can see how much of a difference the gain staging does for this compressor. And this is true for any piece of analog equipment. If I drive this vocal through my black box and I drive it harder, I'm going to get a completely different sound than if I drive it a little bit more mildly. Same with an LA-2A, same with a CL-1B. All these compressors are going to react differently depending on how you drive it. That's why gain staging is so important. Check out the video here if you don't know how to gain stage because this is the number one thing you should learn when you start mixing. Now, let's add a little bit of drive Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. and now we want to start compressing now if you want to start compressing with a black valve it kind of works almost like an LA-2A so you can start using the peak reduction here and then the compressor will start compressing Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el caudal. And you will notice that this doesn't add gain to our vocal. It 
compresses, so it actually reduces the gain. Now, here's the thing that might confuse some people again. This gain knob here, some people might think that this is a makeup gain. It's not. Okay, so don't make this mistake. This actually allows you to drive the compressor even harder. Imagine it a little bit like the 1176 input control. So if I am all the way with peak reduction to zero, if I drive this gain, check what happens. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo. La... So this is the gain after the tube section right here. So let's drive it. Soy el fuego que arde tu... Now, why do we have a raise in level? Because the compressor hasn't started compressing yet and this means that we are just driving the level up to this point. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. Now, why would you use this? You could use this if you don't want to drive the tube circuit so much and you have a vocal that's quiet and maybe even by turning up the peak reduction, you don't get as much compression as you want. For example, let me do this. I'm going to go with zero and you will see. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Let's say I want even more compression than 10 dBs. I can go here and add this gain here and now the compressor will compress even more. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. And you can hear that right now the character of Black Valve really shows. I'm going to raise the output so that we can level match. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda el ca and you will see that now we have a super compact compressed sound with lots of character. Of course, this is extreme, but I want to show you the controls here. Let me go back and compress this vocal in a more sensible way. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el caudal. Tu el aire que respiro yo. So you can hear how much warmth this compressor adds to the vocal. It gives you a very thick sound. It makes everything sound bigger, lush, and beautiful. I would say that, you know, compressing 10 dBs here is too much for this vocal, but I can just pull it back a little bit. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el... See? Thin. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada. It adds substance to a vocal. Now, you might not want to do something like this on a vocal. It doesn't mean that you can use it on any vocal recording. In this case, I think it works great. But imagine you can use it, for example, for bass. It will add lots of beautiful tone to a bass. And I want to say the next thing that you can do is, of course, you can use it in parallel mode. So I can actually drive it quite a bit and I can use it in parallel mode. How? I can just use this dry wet knob here. So dry is the vocal completely dry. And now I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to compress quite a bit actually. And I'm going to blend the super compressed signal. Let's see. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada que guarda and you know what? I love what it does with the consonants. So you get these attacks because the compressor is not so fast, like an LA-2A cannot catch all these peaks, and you get these beautiful accents. And for some genres of music, these are going to be extremely nice. So for example, hip-hop vocals, where you want to have this beautiful 
accents for the consonants, you can use this compressor and it will sound amazing. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. La espada que guarda el cauda. What a difference. I think it's an amazing compressor and for vocals, it's a no-brainer. For bass, this is going to work so well. I would just use the dry to add harmonics to the bass, especially for basses that are kind of dull and you can't hear the notes in the mix. This might be the way to go for a bass like that. And of course, you can use it in parallel, parallel compression and bass. You know, it goes hand in hand together. So in the comments down below, let me know what do you think about the Black Valve compressor? Which one is your favorite compressor in Cubase 13? I have to be honest with you, I'm going to retire some of my third party plugins in favor of this compressor. Not all of them, don't get me wrong. I still love all my plugins, but some plugins I might use less now that we have this Black Valve stock plugin compressor in Cubase. If I made you smile with this video today, consider subscribing to the channel. I would like to see you back if you're not subscribed already hit that like button it really helps my friends it really really helps and if you want to support me you can use the super thanks button here you can check out my instruments my apollo expansion for patch up and the modern 80s kit if you like 80s drums it's really good and don't click away yet because you might want to check out this video next or this video after watching this video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one my friends bye bye